Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're going to be checking out the World Domination Beginners Let's Play episode number 5 for the Infected. Now it's been a while since we actually played around with the Infected or Zombies faction or side of the game and I'm excited to play back. I've been playing with them a little bit just to kind of get back into it and it's been a lot of fun. I love the Infected so much fun. It's a huge change of pace from the Survivors and it's a good one at that. I really enjoy it. Now here is my team that I'm going to be running with for Cape Town. Now that is the city we're going to be running up against. Now it's not too tricky. It's not the hardest one in the world, but if you have a balanced team, it's you can definitely uh, complete it without any hesitation or problems. So here we go. Let me go ahead and just kind of pull up my team here if we go change team. So I have Dr. Zombowitz, number three, <laughs> the third. Uh, we also have Cesspool, Pickleback, Biohazard, Sprinter, Colossus, and Infector. Now, I always want to bring on a, along an infector or reanimator just to help make sure that I have enough backup drones just in case some of my um, mutant zombie, mutant, mutated zombies on the field get taken out. We have extra drones to kind of respawn them, get them on the board again, and get them playing. Now, I also like having a brute with me, a colossus. I really like having the big brutes to kind of sit up front, take up a lot of damage, soak it up while the sprinter, biohazard, pickleback, cesspool, what have you, just can just kind of work on taking out those humans. And those survivors just holding down the fort there now the dog just doesn't want to stop barking if you can hear him i apologize but we also have the cesspool and dr zombo the third we got a pretty solid group here guys and yeah let's go ahead and get into it here i'm pretty excited let's go ahead and fight and go to cape town now this is a pretty fun one i played a little bit i played i did day four just a second ago and we're just going to try to work our way up all the way and at the end of it we're going to get a sprayer or foul mouth which is the epic version all right so let's go ahead and fight on day five fight Cape Town, the Cape of No Hope. Always a win. Let's go. Load up for me. There we go. So, nothing too crazy here. We got a couple of firefighters there. We got some gunfighters chilling over here with what looks like to be a personal trainer. And we also have some uh, other guys around here. Excuse me. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of pick one pad and start there for now. So, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of sweeping up this area right here. Sweep up this lane right here. Run straight into those outlaws. Now, the outlaws are going to pretty much tear apart the titans and the colossus and the things I have with me. So, I'm not going to throw those out just yet here. But I'm going to actually throw down a sprinter just once we make first contact with those drones. Now, they are going to try to take out. They just get taken out really quick. Lordy B. You'd think they'd be able to take out these outlaws fairly easily, these drones. But apparently, they can't handle it. So, I'm just going to send some more. I apologize, I'm a little rusty here, but we're going to get back into it really quick. So I'm actually going to throw down my cesspool back here. He's going to start causing damage with his little pool of gro gross stuff. Now we have that personal, that paramedic back there just healing him up as fast as I can deal damage, but hopefully we can take out at least one. Down goes one, down goes two. There we go. And down goes the paramedic right after him because we know he can't do too much to help out. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a, the last of my drones here. Let's go ahead and drop an infector in the back let's just put him right in there and he's gonna go ahead and start working on bringing me some more guys now i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a foul mouth in here to help take down these lumberjacks with another sprinter to help cause some extra damage and looks like we're just about to take down that last lumberjack there he ended up taking down my uh big broody guy so let's go ahead and keep heading down the lane i got six more guys eight more guys to throw down now dr zombwitz is going to go up front here i'm going to put a cesspool in the back Put a biohazard to help support and we're just going to kind of roll down here roll down the lane sprinter is going to come in and help out as well now these personal trainers are not being too kind to me but we pretty much just wiped through those guys pretty quickly i completely forgot about dr zombo up until this very last moment so in goes the sprinter to cause a little bit of damage on that firefighter or fire chief whatever it is now we are causing some pretty heavy damage to that fire chief he goes down down goes the personal trainer right after him and we are just cruising guys we're about to take out this first objective here and it looks like we're going to be able to start working our way to the next area. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these 11 drones that I have. And I'm going to start reinforcing this little group right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down my two brutes variants. And as well, throw in a sprinter. Why not? Add a little bit extra oomph. Throw down an infector in there to get me some more drones. And a cesspool in the back to have a little bit of range damage just in case we run into a little trouble. So we do have this sniper right here. He's going to possibly cause a bit of damage to my brutes right here. Uh, up front but we should be able to take out these lumberjacks fairly quickly because there is no paramedic of any kind here so it looks like we can take down that sniper really quick he did end up almost taking out all of my brutes right there but it's all good we end up finishing it just fine now i'm going to go ahead and throw down another biohazard and a foul mouth up front to help take down these guys now we do have two contractors up there but they shouldn't be too much of a problem once we take them down there we go now we're gonna have two more snipers down this way i'm gonna go ahead and lead my guys down there 
flare them over to the snipers. Hopefully, we can just pick off one more really quick. Just got to drop one more here. Boom, boom, boom. Down they go, and we're going to head on to that last objective here, and that should call it a day on Cape Town. So, really, if you have at least one brute, you can borrow another one, depending on what it was. I have a Colossus with me, um, that and a Goliath right there. So, the Colossus and the Goliath are very helpful if you want to work on, because you're going to run into two types. You're going to run into the healed uh, lumberjacks and things like that. Or you're going to run some outlaws, gunfighters, whatever it is. It's pretty uh, varied level right here, but you should be pretty good either way. So let's go ahead and continue. We didn't get 300 trophies. That's probably just because I was just uh, fooling around. Just kind of trying to get back to my old ways here. So day six, hopefully we'll have a better attack here. Now my guys are varied around uh, level six. Our team power is over the recommended, so that's kind of always nice. Uh, I got them varied at level five. I made sure my entire team was at level five, just kind of make sure I had a solid balanced team that could really just power through without too much, too many problems here. So let's go ahead and run in here. Now, I do really enjoy having a delivery man of some, of some sort, but right now I don't have that, so it's okay. But I'm going to probably try to cycle in a delivery man of some sort at some point. So let's go ahead and just kind of look around here, see where we want to start off. I'm thinking about starting it off right up here on this top pad right here, but it could be a little tricky because we have two personal trainers just chilling out over there. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a pretty huge bulk of my units here. I'm going to throw in a good amount of drones. Goliath, Colossus. Going to throw in Dr. Zombwitz as well. Throw in the Biohazard with a runner here. Hopefully we can take out this one pad. If we can't, I'm going to be really sad. But if we do... Oh gosh, we're not causing any damage, are we? Are we? I can't tell there's so much action going on. All right, down goes the first pad. Perfect. Go ahead and throw down my infector. We're just going to take out these gunfighters pretty easily. I don't think we're going to have too many problems with them because that personal trainer just can't heal them fast enough because we got them down. So down goes the personal trainer. We're going to keep on moving down the lane here. I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of my drones, which is not too many. I'm going to wait to throw in my runner just a second here. Going to throw in one more Goliath. And let's just have the runner kind of set back up there. Stim up, give a little bit of extra oomph. And down goes the first handyman, second one's sure to follow, and then the firefighter is going to go down pretty quickly also. So those outlaws are going to pre pretty much cause a hefty amount of damage to my colossuses and things like that. So I'm going to kind of leave that other one that I just spawned in the back so he'll have enough time so he won't get shot down. But down goes the last one. It looks like we got a paramedic with nothing to heal, and we're just going to keep on cruising. I'm going to go ahead and bring my guys flare them straight over to this pad right here because I want them to take out these guys first because honestly... If we let them go for the objective, that sniper and the rest of those guys could as, could have easily just picked them all off and it would have been a little bit more trickier. But it looks like we've got it handled for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and keep spawning the rest of my guys, adding, I mean, we're clearly, we're basically clearing through these guys pretty quickly. So we're not going to have to worry about them too much. I'm going to go ahead and start a group of 22 over here with a runner I'm going to save just for the moment here. Now I'm going to speed it up and that's going to help kind of help flank if we need it, but it looks like we're cruising through fairly easy. I'm going to go and throw one more runner here, stem them up for right when they run into those lumberjacks and that sniper. And once we take out this pad, we're going to be home free straight to the objective here. I'm just going to go and throw up, throw in everything else I got here, throw everything at this objective. And then we're going to pretty much be cleared of this area here cape town goes down 200 318 trophies sweet i love it that's going to give us all three tiers of rewards here and i'm pretty excited for that so let's go ahead and check out what we got continue all of our guys are tired so we're gonna have to come back in just a second but here we go we got some brains a brute and some more brains i love it so guys we're gonna come back in just a second we're gonna flip back and we're gonna keep on cruising through these days so just give me a second and it will be back in absolutely no time for you guys all right, guys, so here we are with the very last stage. This is going to be day nine, and at the end of it, we're actually going to get a foul mouth, which is actually pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and fight here. We got our same team, same loadout and everything. We're just on the final day. We're not going to... I skipped those last two days so you guys didn't have to watch them because they're basically the same thing as the earlier ones. But I thought, why not? Let's get to the finale. So here we go. Not too different from the normal uh, maps we've been looking at in the last couple raids here. But here we go. We're going to start off. We're going to head straight through these gunfighters here in the paramedic. Now, I'm actually going to throw up a Goliath right up front. He's going to soak up a bulk of my damage. Bulk of the damage is being dealt from those gunfighters right there. But I'm going to go ahead and drop a little, a little bit more drones here. And I'm going to throw down my runner as well to help take out those guys. And since we just finished off that pad, throw down an infector. Start getting me some more drones. And we're going to be off to these next couple of lumberjacks here, which is also accompanied by a sniper. So I'm going to go ahead and send another group here, which is going to come down just this other lane. We're going to have a little bit of flanking action going here. Throw down a cesspool and then Dr. Zombwitz up front. And that should be a pretty solid loadout here. So I'm actually going to throw down one more runner. 
get a little bit more damage being dealt out there. So we just got to take out that one sniper and we will be finished off all of those pads, which is pretty exciting. So now we're heading straight towards a group of lumberjacks, which will be a little bit difficult, but I think we can handle it pretty well. So there we go. Lumberjacks slowly but surely going down no matter what. We got a great group of guys right here. We have a pretty strong group with us. I'm going to go throw down another runner and an infector to help get me some more drones on the way there. And we're going to head straight towards that objective area and just take it out without any problems at all. So I'm going to go ahead and start another group here. We're going to head straight towards these. Looks like it looks like an outlaw and two handymen. I'm going to throw my two goliaths up, cesspool in the back, and a foul mouth just behind these two brutes right here. To help cause a little bit more damage, take out those handyman a little bit faster than we... And looks like if we throw down, throw down the Stim Z, we should be pretty good. So we managed to clear that out just fine. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a Biohazard. Now that's going to hopefully start working in our favor. Working on taking out some of these guys from behind. Looks like we've got a machine gunner back there. But we may be able to take him out just in time. So there we go. We knock him out. No problem. I'm going to drop my Drone Geyser with the Stim Z behind these guys. Flank off that last Lumberjack there. And looks like once we take down this objective, we will be golden, and that will be a successful win for us. So there we go. Dropped it. We got 337 trophies, which I think is pretty darn good. And we got an entire enemy unit defeated bonus. We got our objective destroyed, all the trophies there. Time remaining, we did great there. Now, we did lose a couple units, didn't really get anything from that, but it's all good. No worries there. Let's go and show our rewards. What did we get here? We got some brains, spitter, and infector. Sweet, I will take that. We completed Cape Town, and we have gotten a sweet foul mouth. I will take that any day. But guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this beginner's let's play and walkthrough for Cape Town. We're going to continue on to Nairobi in the next video or a video just down the line, not too far off. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys thought. If you enjoyed it, slap a like on it too. But guys, thank you so much as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.